In this video, I'm going to go over the best entry level cybersecurity certificates that you can get. Now, I made another video on cybersecurity certificates that you can look up here, but that one goes into more specialized certificates for each field. And according to Cybersecurity Ventures, there's going to be 3.5 million unfulfilled cybersecurity jobs in 2021. And that means you can write your own ticket. And if you're coming from a field that maybe isn't paying more or is kind of capped at a certain job limit, then cybersecurity is for you. And this video is also for you. My disclaimer for this video is do not confuse having a certificate for actually being competent. And that is kind of a mistake everyone kind of makes. It verifies that you kind of know what you're talking about, but beyond that, not really. Some of the most competent people that I have known don't have a degree and they don't have a certificate because IT and cybersecurity is all about the skills that you have. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. And there are timestamps below that will bring you to each certificate if you want to go back or forward in your journey of my video. The first entry level cybersecurity certificate on my list is Security Plus. Yes, I know you knew it was coming. Not only is CompTIA Security Plus recognized by private and public employers, I also believe it is a really good base. It is the cybersecurity fundamentals that you need to know to be successful. Do not take shortcuts with this exam. The exam costs around $339, but of course that often changes. And you'll learn about IDSs, IPSs, network security, change management, public key infrastructure, cryptography, so symmetric and asymmetric keys, and operating system security. And this is a solid base for the rest of your career. So I have known people who take shortcuts and they just have a bad foundation. So again, don't take shortcuts. <laughs> security Plus will definitely get you a help desk job if you know security, also an IA technician, computer network defense, technical service engineer. And if we look up here, there is currently around 6,000 jobs on Indeed that say CompTIA Security Plus in the job description. So 6,000 jobs is a ton. And these are jobs that people are advertising, meaning they don't have anyone to fill them already. So there you go, CompTIA Security Plus. The next one on my list is the SSCP. This isn't as well known, but I think it is a great value and it teaches you how to implement security policies, monitor and administer IT infrastructure, network and communication security, vulnerability management, system and application security, and various access controls. And this will definitely get you a job and the exam is fairly cheap, which is good because it is an entry level cybersecurity certificate and it costs around $250. It does require you to have one one year of work experience, but I'm sure whether you know it or not, you do have that one year of work experience. It's just about framing it in the right way. I used to always look at those requirements and I would just kind of feel bad about myself, but then I realized, wait a minute, I do have this experience. I'm just not thinking about it in the right way. So if that's you and it kind of makes you feel kind of bad about yourself, don't worry, you're not alone. You definitely have one year of experience. You just have to frame it. And if we look at indeed.com, there's nearly 2,000 jobs requiring or wanting this certificate, which is great because not a lot of people have the SSCP because it's not as well known and it also will teach you a great foundation. It's also very affordable. So keep that in mind. My next level certificate to get for cybersecurity would be the CYSA plus, which is this is the perfect position for an entry level person in cybersecurity. People say there are no entry level cybersecurity jobs. There is, and that is being a SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst well, you're just going to be monitoring the network and seeing if any alarms go off and doing some log aggregation and correlation. Now, great place to start, by the way, get your security plus and then go for your CYSA plus and that will be golden. The exam is $349, which is an amazing deal because I really do think it prepares you really well for the exam. And you're going to learn things such as threat and vulnerability management, software and system security, compliance and assessment, security operations and monitoring, and also incident response. If you go and look up on Indeed, there are nearly 
nearly a thousand jobs requiring the CompTIA CYSA+. Now, this is a relatively new cert, so keep that in mind as many employers haven't caught on to how great of a cert it is. And also, it fulfills the 8570 compliance, so if you want a government job, it does fill certain requirements for that, so you're more likely to get hired if you meet those check marks. Remember about the check marks, the check marks do not go away. Certificates are really good for check marks and HR, not competency. The next cert on my list, I don't remember what number it is, <laughs> is the GAIAC Security Essentials. In this Sir, GAIAC is really popular in cybersecurity, and this will teach you the basics of cybersecurity, definitely, and it also is GAIAC, which is brand name recognized. However, the cert comes in around $1,700. I think that is a little bit too much. You could take the previous three certs that I've mentioned and fail them almost twice and still be successful. So you have three certs that you got to take twice for this one cert for the GAIAC Security Essentials. I'm only including it because if you want GAIAC on your resume or GAIAC, I don't know how to say it, please correct me below, um, then this is the cert and it is good training, but if you're beginning your cybersecurity journey, then it might be a little bit too much to be honest, but you will learn so much so much to include active security, defense in depth, access control and password management, defensible network architectures, networking protocols and networking security, which is very important by the way to have a good grasp of this, incident handling and response, so that's what the CYSA plus would teach you, vulnerability scanning and penetration testing, security policy, contingency plans and IT infrastructure, web communication security, virtualization and cloud security, and also access control controls and automation. So honestly, I think this cert covers, it's honestly one of the best certs on here to do, but it's $1,700 and I don't know if, plus you're probably going to have to buy training that goes along with it, which could be over $7,000. It's, it's a little too much, but I do think it's a good basis, but you could do the CompTIA route and just get the A plus network plus security plus CYSA. And then you could also just get your SSCP for probably the same price and learn the same knowledge. And if you look up here, there's not too many jobs asking for the GAIAC security essentials. More advanced certs by them are definitely worth it, but the security one, it's not as recognized. My next cybersecurity certificate on this list is the Certified Ethical Hacker by EC Council. Now, honestly, I don't recommend this certificate. I have the certificate and it's really not well respected in the IT community. However, it does show up on a ton of job boards. And if you just really, it looks really good to HR because it sounds really cool. Like you're a certified ethical hacker. So if it's free, then I would say go ahead and get it. I went to Western Governors University and I got a free voucher for the certified ethical hacker exam. So if it's not free, it's gonna cost you around $1,200 and about $100 just to apply to take the test. That's insane. A good alternative would be the pen test, CompTIA pen test. I'm all about CompTIA for beginners. I think it's a great place to start. So to keep you out of the weeds and going from place to place, $1,200 for a cert that isn't really respected is too much for me. But you will learn basic concepts such about network attack, hacking web applications, OWASP top 10, enumeration, methodology, W3, WP3 cracking, and all of those kind of cool things. But you can do that on your own, right? Study for the test, just don't take the test because $1,200 is just why. You could do so much other cool things with $1,200 actually. My sixth cybersecurity certificate is the OSCP. And this is a wonderful foundation course if you want to get into penetration testing. It's a very beginner friendly. So if you're aiming for a junior penetration tester exam, this is the certificate to get as it will teach you all of everything you need to know about a penetration, being a penetration tester. It's really well respected by companies because it's difficult to get and you actually have to do challenges when you're going through and doing the work. The exam fee is, uh, the exam fee and training is $1,000 and retakes are about $150. I actually don't think that's too bad. I know I was talking about CEH, 
and how I thought that was a terrible deal and here similarly priced but OSCP I think is a good preparation for actually becoming like a pen tester where that other test was just more marketing EC Council CEH is more marketing and kind of just looking cool where OSCP is like substance and will actually get you a job and you will actually learn skills that are relevant to today um so keep that in mind and you'll learn some pretty cool things such as web app hacking OWASP top Linux buffer overflows client site attacks, file transfers, fixing exploits, password attacks, a passive information gathering, and all of that sort. And it also teaches you the mindset of being a penetration tester. So which is a different mindset. And once you start to get into it, you start to apply it to other things in your life. And then you just become one of those really weird people. So be careful, by the way, be careful. The OSCP is kind of difficult. It's an entry level certificate, but it's not easy to get. It's a lot more difficult than the previous ones that I've mentioned before. Definitely worth it. And if you look at Indeed, there's over 1,400 jobs that want the OSCP. And this will definitely, if you're trying to get your first job or change your careers, this cert would be very valuable in becoming a penetration tester. Now, my next certificate on this is the eLearn Security. And this one isn't really well known or recognized, but it is a really good knowledge base as the exams are scenario based and you're actually going to have to do it. So if you're really about learning and not so much about the end result of the certificate, eLearn Security is a great place to start. So you really have to provide proof of your findings in order to get certified, which is good if employers would recognize it a little bit more, but it's not so much recognized today as maybe like Security Plus. So, but you will learn a lot and it will definitely let you pass that technical interview. And you'll learn about penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, vulnerability testing, advanced exploitation using Metasploit, which is a really big tool, scanning and profiling a target, advanced reporting skills, and you'll also learn about the Linux and Windows operating system. So really good basis for becoming a junior penetration tester. I suggest maybe combining it with the OSCP, that way you can get both and you're learning basically the same material. They also have other niches that you can look at. Um, I just didn't explore them is really mostly I just know them for penetration testing. The exam difficulty is pretty difficulty because you actually have to go through the labs and show findings to get certified. And the cost is between 300 and 1300 depending on qualification. The one for the penetration testing is around $400. However, this can also change, so make sure to check those prices. And I think that's about it. That is my seventh and final cybersecurity certificate. So, which one do I think you should start with? And my answer is going to be the CompTIA Security Plus because it's not terrifyingly difficult and it will give you that Security Plus basis that you really, that security, that cybersecurity fundamentals that you really need to know to succeed. And it will make your life a lot easier down the road when you're studying for other topics such as IT auditing or forensics, because you'll understand, oh, a, a, a security policy is different from a guideline because of this reason or things of that sort. And then after you get the CompTIA Security Plus, I would maybe look at my career pathway and then choose the pathway you want and then get a specialized certificate that you want to get into. Thank you for watching my video on the best entry-level cybersecurity certificates and uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.